In news overseas, control of the Senate and House in the United States hangs in the balance as the country awaits midterm election results. In the meantime, a lottery ticket sold in California wins the Powerball jackpot prize of $2 billion. All these and more in tonight's Foreign News Roundup by Meg Luna. The United States is awaiting results of the midterm elections as votes are still being counted in several states. As of 9 p.m., Democrats and Republicans tie in the Senate with 48 each, while Republicans dominate the House. According to election officials, it could take days before the results of contests are definitive, which will determine which political party controls Congress for the next two years. Meanwhile, the first member of Generation Z won a seat in Florida U.S. House. Democrat Maxwell Alejandro Frost, 25, is a gun reform and social justice activist. North Korea has denied American claims that it is shipping artillery shells and ammunition to Russia for use in its war in Ukraine. This follows dozens of weapon tests by North Korea, including short-range missiles. North Korea said it was testing the missiles and artillery so it could strike key South Korean and U.S. targets if it chooses to. Meanwhile, a Powerball player who bought a ticket in California won the jackpot prize of $2.04 billion, the largest in the lottery's history. The lucky ticket holder, whose identity was not disclosed, got all the lucky numbers right, which are 10, 33, 41, 47, 56, with the Powerball number 10. He or she now has a choice of taking a lump sum of $997.6 million cash or receiving the full amount in 29 annual payments. Meg Luna for The Nation.